Actually, about that. I'm gonna retract that. We just beat a, ma a major quest and got a giant reward. And I did say that I was going to be, uh, I was gonna be leapfrogging to and fro with exploration and pursuing the quest. Cause we're, we're going to slowly but surely whittle, whittle down this area. And so before long, it'll feel like we really didn't have to explore it at all. That it just kind of passively got done. Like I know that's not entirely true because probably 10 minutes of every episode is just going to be spent is just going to be spent, um, you know, exploring. But it's, you know, it, it little, little bits, little bits at a time. Oh, would you look at that in the background? That, that's a Lynel. Ooh, it's been a while since we've fought a Lynel. I briefly, let's land on that horse. Wait, this horse was already tame. That's really weird. Huh. That's really odd. Um, well, unfortunately, this horse is probably going to meet its untimely demise at the hands of a red Lionel. Never mind. A red Lionel ain't nothing. It's not a single thing. They're pretty. They're one of my favorite looking Lionels. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat this guy on horseback. What are you doing? Hi. Uh, you're very fast. Oh, I should probably, I should probably make sure, at the very least, that I don't have my Korok mask on, you know? So, let's equip our brand new, well, or not our brand new Phantom Greaves, because I wasn't able to upgrade those. Our brand new armor, which is very, very tough. We have a lot of defense now. Get that auto crit. He probably... I don't know if this Lionel would instantly kill me, but um, I probably am not quite to the break point I want with enemies, but the common enemies will probably at least two-shot me now. You know what? This is taking way too long. Hey, look at that! He half-helped me! That's... that's some major progress. Hi, buddy. Yeah, um, I don't know if you know about me, but I am... I am actually that guy. And you? You're just another common, non-boss enemy. You're gonna start a fire? Is that what you're gonna do? Ow. He actually hit me. I thought I had that, that attack down. And... Let's kill him. That should... This should be close. I'm not gonna use the demon bow. That's enough. Okay, this will definitely bring him down. Cool. He's not even going to be giving that good of rewards. Like, this this is just going to be a, a plinking bow. This is like a 22 caliber bro bow. Like, it's a double shot bow. And a soldier's spear. Also, that, that looks like the horse caused that. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. We're not actually after that Lionel. I'm after this shrine that's over here. Yeah. It's so great to finally be back in grassland for a change. I've been in the tundra for so long, and then I was in the sky, and then I was in the desert. Like, it's been a long time since I've been able to use a normal playlist, and in fact, I was barely adding music to this series when I, when I uh, was in grass last. So this is, this is cool. It's a nice change of pace. Built to carry. Runikit Shrine. This already, I can tell, it looks like it's going to be kind of annoying. Uh, annoying shrine. What am I supposed to do here? There's a ladder over there. Oh, I'm supposed to do this essentially backwards. I'm supposed to go over here. Cross this chasm. And then... Oh, wait, wait, let's... Let's... Work smarter, not harder. If I... If I could. They add that ladder there just to, to make sure that they don't overwhelm new players with possibilities, because a new player would definitely get stuck on that. I would have gotten stuck on that at first. Okay, so maybe this shrine won't be as annoying as I thought it would, because really, I'm just, I'm just escorting this thing down. 
Um, now I need to be very careful that I... I keep a lookout for the chest. I'm currently not seeing it all. I don't know why these poles exist. I don't... I feel like the poles are not necessary at all. Oh, they are necessary. Okay. No! <sighs> yeah, I don't need to I don't need to play all of the shrines games. Just a couple of the games. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's honestly Bada bing. And bada boom. I don't know why I kept this thing sideways. But Bada bing. Oh! Snap! I made that much more complicated than I needed to. Mighty Construct Bow. Probably, a, that's probably, a, yeah, that's definitely a keeper. And again, I don't... I don't really care about the Shrine's Reindeer games. I I think this is easier than whatever it's trying to trying to do. Move the ball over there. Set it right on the ledge and jump across and then I can pretty, pretty easily do this. I legitimately don't really care to figure out what this shrine wants me to do. So I can just do this. I got the chest. I was right at the very beginning, and then I thought I was wrong, and then I was right again. The shrine was annoying, and I think I was right to do it my way. No, I'm not always- it's- my way isn't always the correct way, but here I think it was the easiest way. Now, I kinda- I kinda want to see if find one more shrine or one more thing before I, I pursue another quest. So I'm gonna go up to the top of this hill, and if there's a shrine up there, cool. I'll I'll get it. If not, then I'll I'll go to the Forgotten Temple because I I, I want to cover. I'm kind of gauging how many uh, different mode shifts I, I for lack of a better term that I'm going to need to do, and in my mind also. I guess I didn't make any speed up potions or anything. Um, it, <clears throat> I'm trying to pace it out so that I have exactly uh, the um, the right amount of uh, exploration snippets as I do quest snippets. And we're gonna kind of do two quests for the price of one um, here in a second by, let's see, there's no, yeah, there's nothing behind the waterfall, but there is this. <clears throat> and so I wanna make sure that the exploration is also a little bit bigger. Why on earth? What do we have here? I don't think I can bomb these, but I, I have a little updraft. That's kind of special. What is what is this all about? Really? You're just the... Oh, sweet. Okay. Two for the price of one. How do I... Look how strong this guy is. He's holding up that, that entire boulder. That entire boulder apparatus. Boom, that should- that should do the trick. the trick. You should try letting go. I think it'll work out. And it will. Sweet. How is he standing? Look at my bowl cut! I'm actually wearing a wig, you never guess it! Perfect! Well, take my rice balls. And my money. I always I always forget about the money. I've actually spent a decent amount this episode because every single upgrade I did cost 10 rupees. So if you want to track how many upgrades I did, just look at my, my rupee count at the beginning and end of the episode. Uh, now I can go onward to signs. Okay, cool. And we got the shrine right here. It's perfect. That really worked out. And then probably next we'll go into the mushroom forest, but it's it, I'm really enjoying this episode. It, there's a lot of variety in it. I'm not really getting to like talk about other things, but I don't need to. 
Uh, oh, and there's a stable right here. Uh, maybe we actually... Maybe I actually see the stable first. I think we'll probably do that. The Shrine of uh, Makurukus. Yeah, that's that's the word. Makurukus. That classic... Now, can this be a simple shrine? Combat training archery. Yes, I love simplicity. Hi. What's the training? This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. They're teaching me about headshots. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Really? This isn't even a test of like... Well done. You've mastered shooting at someone's head. Wow. Now here are three more heads to, to shoot, to click. Okay. I'm literally gonna... Oh, wait. I'm just gonna casually walk up and kill all these guys. I actually needed five shots for this. I'm a little bit embarrassed of that, but they were moving, okay? It's not like I took damage, I guess. You have proven your mastery. Now, proceed to the innermost chamber. At least it was simple, right? At least it was simple. Some of the shrines are a little bit um, pretentious, and you get the mechanics, but they're like, hey, you have to do it three more times, and... Like there are 400 shrines in this game. I do not have I do not have the mental fortitude to play your reindeer games. I have been holding onto this for so long, but I oh I gotta keep it. Uh yeah, drop that. Cool. Now onward to uh the stable, I guess. You know, there is a world where I, I went to this stable accidentally because it is in the right proximity. I mean, almost, kind of. Also, that looks really... Why are the runes like that? That's... Do I need to bother with the runes ever again? I don't think I need that. So why would they just be on the map like that? That's very odd. Maybe they make a pattern and we have to solve a thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I This game's blind. But now we know what the glyphs are, I guess. That's cool. Uh, we're just dancing around on this mushroom. Oh, there it is. Bada bing. Bada bing. And bada boom. Oh, and there's another, there's another dude. You know what, we're gonna deal with the Koroks. We're gonna deal with the Koroks right now, first. That is an absolute priority. Tulin, you abandoned me for a second there. Okay, where are we going? Where is he? Tell me. He's wow, that's a that's really far away. Okay. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Uh we are going to There's a one. There's two. I think that'll do the trick. Ready, set, go! <laughs> look at him! Look at him go! That was a perfect shot! That was awesome! He's having the time of his life! Look at him! He's wiggling! He's so happy! Yeah! And his eyes are still on the prize! I actually don't know if the Korok that I'm sensing is this guy. I'm just gonna place a leaf just in case. And we'll very boringly walk him all the way over there. All right, there you go. I reunited you with your captor, and it looks like I have a sign to stabilize. It's one thing after another. But that's the name of the game. We're happy with, with that this time. Hello, Yiga clan member. Look at his chin. Oh, my word. You saw a sunken treasure in a bog. That's really cool. Bye. I can't believe he didn't attack me. That's actually insane. Good, good. Thanks for all the stuff. And now, 
Let's go back. Thanks for the bomb. Let's go back to the stable. Well, I came at it from this direction, and I'd be stupid not to just check out the well now. Oh, hi. Well, there's a person down here. This well. Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright, clap, uh, bright caps, present. All right, that's everything. I'll jot it down. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this, I guess. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a, a well enthusiast, would you? Of course, duh. I mean, that's why we're both here, right? I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environments, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. My dream is to, is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all ancient texts, all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in them, well, maybe you could help me. Do you have any? Can you? Would you tell me of any well locations you know of? I'll reward you, of course. How does 10 rupees per location sound? That's a 580 rupee quest. That's not terrible for just exploring. And this, I think... Wow, I only know of 10? Really? That's kind of cool. I'm... That, that's really sweet. Wait, oh, she leaves. Oh, so I probably found more. But she went to lookout landing. At least I have a quest marker, so it's not the end of the world. I can probably follow that quest marker. Man, she really... She missed out. What on earth is this? Uh, let's grab this. Okay, any enemies? Like likes? campfire, so someone's been here before, and the tunnel keeps going. Where's this? Oh. Never mind. It concludes with the chest, and the chest contains... For a well enthusiast, she didn't actually really explore that well. And out we are really far away. Whoopsie. I smell a story. Hmm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten Heiligen pine cone. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of wild goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. I'm back to thinking she's a menace. Anyway, if you talk to Chark, <laughs> his name is Chark, the guy who was taking care of the white goats, I'll look for more clues. Time for you to get to work. There's a scoop here, I can feel it. A scoop about goats. Sup, Chork? You definitely look like a Chork. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I'd give those goats all the love and care of the world, but then they ran away. They didn't even finish their food before they left. I feed them pine cones. They love it. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly. Uh, what recipe? Yeah, she, uh, she gave me a recipe when she came here. It's really amazing how much she knows about goats. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes for goats. In this case, it's a recipe for a, spe a special kind of feed for goats. The main ingredients is fresh pine cones. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I don't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the, the, that, you know, I put in a bottle. I can't find it, you know, so I they spit up the goats or the, the pine cones and then run away. Did they, did they hate her? What's wrong with my goats? Uh, okay. Where'd they run off to? So, do I have to herd goats? Is this Twilight Princess? Let's talk to these people first. Hello. 
Um, what's the news? Oh, okay. So we, we got that. That's fine. That's fine. It's it's all stuff that we've encountered. Hmm, is something bothering you, young man? Oh ho, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster here? Some say it is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where it is right now. Quite the mystery, dude, don't you think? If I were younger, I'd hike all the, to all the stables to find if there was any truth to these rumors. Interesting, interesting. Uh, she said something that was in, highlighted in red. So I'm going to skip this text again. Let's see. Big cold snap. Okay, so she's just talking. They're, everybody's directing us towards... Towards the Lucky Clover Gazette. And there's no check saying that we've already been there. Okay, so I can get my pony point. I'm one away from a reward. I'm going to grab my horse. And I don't know... I don't know how easily I can find these goats. But I'm going to give it a little look-see and then I'll move on. Whoa. Okay, I just scoured everything and I did not find any goats. Uh, where could they have gone? The bottle was blown somewhere. That really doesn't help. So we're supposed to find this recipe and we're supposed to find... Where on earth? Okay, I already talked to this guy. I don't know where this recipe could have gone. Like, I'm literally looking- I have no hint at all as to where this thing should be. There's no shot it's- it's that far away, right? But at the same time, I've searched everywhere in the immediate vicinity, so it's like, what am I supposed to do here? I... I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of messing with my jive. Uh, I'll- I think I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm gonna mulligan it, and I'm gonna go to the Forgotten Temple.